Handheld Contact is a mobile synchronisation platform for ACT, compatible with iPhone, Windows Smartphone, BlackBerry, uh, Android, a variety of devices. Here it is on the iPhone, represented by a simple uh, applet from the add-on store. It takes me into my list of contacts that you can see here, and I can add a new contact just by clicking on the plus button, uh, and as you would imagine, I can enter the basic details, uh, name, uh, surname, company, uh, and so on and so forth. Scroll down the screen and uh, populate the record with address details and then go on to include phone numbers, email addresses, website etc. Uh, and then you can also record against the contact any other attributes that are typical to act, act activities, histories, notes etc. So if we just record a new history you can see you can type in the details of a history, save it against the record and that can be synchronized back to your act database. Activities can be scheduled as well using the same controls that you would expect to include in act so you've got uh, the date and time, what the uh, type of activity is, who it's with etc. You can even send emails to the contact from within the, the uh, iPhone uh, and they're recorded as an email history which is synchronized back to your act database. Here is an email history in my uh, history file for that contact. So I've added a new contact for Steve Martin and uh, what I do then is synchronize that back to my uh, ACT database. So you have a, an account set up on the handheld contact server and you're synchronizing the data back to that account which is uh, on a batch uh, scheduled basis synchronizing with my ACT database. So uh, I've got mine uh, synchronizing every 15 minutes. So back in the office on ACT somebody can do a search for Steve Martin and that record is located immediately. Um, if I go down to the history tab I should be able to see those history items, the email that I've been sent details of any other activities that might have been performed on the device. Uh, if we go to the activities tab you'll see the activity that I scheduled for myself uh, with all the parameters that were recorded on the iPhone. So of course I can edit the record in ACT and synchronize that data back to my iPhone as well so if I go to uh, add a new note to the contact record that I've created on my iPhone and synchronize that back to the iPhone. Of course that's happening automatically on a scheduled basis but if I just bring into view the handheld contact application that sits on my PC or server you'll see I can manually trigger a synchronization event just to force that note to go across to the iPhone right now but uh, in, in, in reality this is happening for me every every 15 minutes anyway on an automated basis. So the data gets synchronized to my handheld contact account and then when my iPhone is next synchronized it'll pick up that uh, change to the record. So there you can see in Steve Martin's record, Beware of the Dog. I can also um, send text messages from the iPhone that are recorded against ACT history. So if I click on the send text, select the phone number and type in the, the text of the message, of course it goes as a text in a normal way, an SMS, but it's recorded as a history. So once, next time I sync that back to my ACT, you'll see uh, in the notes, in the history tab, for uh, Steve Martin you'll see the details of the text message which is pretty neat. Setup is really straightforward I just need to create a username and account on the handheld contact server and also in the configuration module just tell the system where the database is and give it a username and password and then there's quite a lot of flexibility in terms of what data gets synchronized which contact records. I can choose to either synchronize all my at contact data to handheld contact in the iPhone or the mobile device or I can specifically choose the contents of a contact group. Uh, beyond that, once I've got the contacts involved, I can determine what activities I synchronize with the remote device, just ones that are scheduled for me within a specific date range, and I can choose which type of activities to send as well. And then in terms of notes and history, so that it doesn't uh, get bogged down synchronizing reams of history, in my case I'm just choosing to send just the two or three most recent notes uh, and uh, histories that have been completed. So very granular, even down to field level I can determine specifically which fields to synchronize to my mobile device and also the contents of drop down lists. So all in all, very easy to set up, extremely easy to use and very very powerful at data on your mobile device.